Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. I am out here at Hardee's to try something from their brand new Primal menu, their Primal Burrito. Yeah! So their primal menu that they just brought out is to celebrate the upcoming movie on June 10th called Jurassic World Dominion. Gotta be honest with you, I've seen the first two Jurassic Parks, loved the first one, don't even remember the second one, so it must not have been that great. Um, but I've never seen any of the other ones. They have a primal thick burger, a primal biscuit, and a primal burrito. Um, I, I just decided to do the burrito, no real reason. I am here early in the morning because it has been really, really hot every day. So I figure I'll get out before the sun gets hot, get this thing done so I'm not sweating all over the place. All right, let's go to the clipboard of fluff. The Hardee's Primal Burrito is slow cooked sliced prime rib hash rounds, smoked cheddar, folded eggs, sweet and savory amber sauce. I have no idea what amber sauce is, but all three of the, the options have amber sauce. Topped with melted cheddar cheese, more cheese, and served in a warm tortilla. The handy dandy steering wheel tray there to keep stuff off my lap. Sorry about that. I'm always honking that horn when I put that on. Holy crap. Hope I didn't wake up Mrs. Brown over there. There is the bag it comes in. Hardy's right there on the front. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Got the napkins, got the damage right there, and the burrito. All right, that is a good size burrito. And like I said, it's got some weight to it. It's really hard to get you in for a burrito look because I've got to do the in, undo the entire thing and I really don't want to do that. So um, we're just going to go for a mystery bite and look inside from there. But there it is. There is the Primal Burrito from Hardee's. See, we got some cheese peeking out on that end. Nothing peeking out on that end. Let's go for the cheese end. All right, give it a shot. Do it again. Here's a look inside. You can see the cheese in there. You can see the prime rib. A little peaky at the hash rounds there. And the egg in there. Get in here deeper. There's a look at the hash rounds in there. So it's just like little teeny tater tots. Got a little bit of crunch to them still. Tried to grab a big piece, but I couldn't. But there is a look at the prime rib offering right there. Hmm. Okay, let's take this by the numbers. The burrito itself, the shell, it's pretty good, it's not too bad. It's it's warm and it's it's pretty fresh. I think it could be a little bit fresher, not sure how long these have been in there. It's got a decent amount of cheese. It's not as melty as I would like it to be. Um, it, it could be a lot more creamy, a lot more melty. I, I would have expected that from two different types of cheese, at least one to be kind of creamy and, and, and gooey. The egg is folded uh, thin, so it's not a nice fluffy egg. It's, it's just kind of thin. It's like you, you took a piece of material and folded it over a couple times. The hash brown rounds in there are, are kind of to be expected. Uh, they, they've got a crunch to them. They would, you know, they're, they're in there with all the other stuff, like I said. So they're not going to have as nice a crunch as they would by themselves. Um, but they're, they're cooked decently, with decent potato-y flavor. The amber sauce, there could be a lot more. Uh, they, they were pretty stingy on putting that in there. So there's not a whole lot to taste. I, I'm, 
uh, I'm having a hard time with that one. And then what I think is the star of the show, or should be, is the prime rib. It's cut thin. Um, there's not a lot of it. There should be a lot of it uh, for the price, which is coming up. I mean, this comes very close to being like the skinny meat that you get at the grocery store for really cheap. But yeah, you've, you've it's just not a lot. It seems to be tender, what I'm getting, but not real juicy. There's not a lot of flavor coming out of it. And it may be because of the smoky cheese and the other cheese it has in there. Maybe that's kind of drying it out a little bit more, but I think there should be enough of it that it goes, I don't care what else is in here with me. I'm gonna come forward. I'm gonna stand out. I'm gonna be the star of the show as I should be. All right, the damage on the Primal Burrito from Hardee's was $5.99. Mm, considering what I got, um, that's too much. On the Nerdometer, I would give uh, that puppa there, um, I think I would give this a, I'm gonna give this a high meh. There needs to be a lot more prime rib in here. It needs to be done better. It needs to be seasoned. It's not seasoned well in here at all. I mean, I'm really surprised I'm even giving it a high meh. I mean, I should expect juicy prime rib. I should expect creamy, gooey cheese. I should expect a nice fluffy egg and a good amount of that sauce. And with all that stuff that's supposed to be in there, this just ends up being pretty dry. Mm. And there's definitely not enough of that amber sauce for me to even tell you what it's like. It's just like they, they did like one or two little squirts throughout the entire burrito and said, oh, that's good. It's definitely not worth the price tag the way it is. Yeah, the more I eat it, the more it's creeping down in the rating there. Yeah, I'm gonna change this to a, a low meh. That's just untruth in advertising. Holy heck, I wish it looked like that. I have to tell you, the longer I looked at that picture, the angrier I got. I'm changing the rating again. This thing gets an it sucks. Wow. And it, it's, it's not that any of the elements were icky. It's just the thoughtfulness or the lack thereof that was put in to this product. Go ahead and look at that picture again and tell me that that is what I got. Everything could have been better. Nothing was up to snuff. Hardy's do better. I know you can. And that's what's so frustrating. It's like when you go to a place that makes crap food and they give you crap food, you really can't be all that disappointed. But when you go to a place like Hardy's slash Carl's Jr. and you know they can do good stuff and they just fall flat it's just frustrating and it makes you mad. I'm just hoping that it's this particular burrito or this particular location. If you get this, I hope you get a lot better than I did. I don't know what the biscuit is like. I don't know what the thick burger is like. I would hope they would be better. Hardy's biscuits are wonderful slash Carl's Jr. Um, and their thick burgers are usually really good. Um, but but not this. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for being here. Really do appreciate you guys. Follow me on all my social networks. All the nerdy, groovy links are down below in the description. And if you do all that, you too can become a part of the coffee swelling, my wonderful new mug, old nerd crony community. Uh -huh. All right, you guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.